Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another episode of Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. Today, I'll be painting this T-72 tank. It's 15 millimeter scale. I've got it primed in skeleton bone paint from Army Painter. Since I don't have my airbrush at the shop today, this is good enough for a base paint. It's close to sand color, and since this is going to be an Iraqi T-72, it works nice. I also coated it with Tester's gloss coat so that this enamel wash from AK flows easily and will be able to be moved around later. This is easy weathering. Starting off with OIF wash from AK and getting it into this, some of the other weathering techniques later on in this video. For right now, I'm just coating the whole tank with the AK wash, making sure it goes on fairly evenly. Don't be afraid about getting too heavy handed, since we're going to be wiping this down with some Soilworks odorless thinner later. After the main wash is dry, I go in with the odorless thinner to wipe down the excess. Because it is an enamel wash, the odorless thinner, aka mineral spirits, reactivates the paint. This is also why we seal the tank with gloss varnish first, because the lack of varnish isn't affected by the enamel thinner. I use the Q-tip to take off the excess on the flat areas while leaving the grooves and corners with deposits of the wash. The wash also tones the tan to a darker color. Thank you. 
Next up, I'm going to go over the tank tracks with this enamel track wash, also from AK. When you're weathering a tank like this, it's okay to keep things organic, so don't worry too much about making it perfectly even coat, just as long as you get all of the tracks covered. For the road wheels, I'm using this secret weapon rubber. It's an acrylic paint. You have to be a little more patient as you apply this to the wheel rims, but it's worth the extra effort. For this machine gun, I'm using Abaddon Black from a Vintage Games Workshop container. It never hurts to recycle. I'm just painting the machine gun black and leaving the mount tan. Now to get into the detail of weathering. I'm going to be using the AK, OIF, and OEF streaking effect. So what we're gonna do is take the streaks and you just ever so lightly add them to where you feel like rain streaks would accumulate. And you might say, like some other rivet counters have, but Wayne, you couldn't see the weathering at this scale. It makes no sense at 15 millimeter. And I'm like, you know what, fellas, you're right. But also, fuck you. This makes it look more interesting and way cooler. I just scraped my machine gun because I'm a clumsy moron, so I have to go back and fix that. 
but you can see where I'm making it look like the rain and the mud have run down and pooled in certain areas. Once that's on, I like to take my finger and kind of soften it down a little bit. So now we've done some rain streaks. And say you don't like this later. Maybe you added too many streaks. Until you seal it, you can get a little thinner on your brush and it's that easy to take off. It's like a magic eraser for your model. If you think you got too heavy or put something in the wrong spot, you can just take it off. Now we're going to add some rust. This is chipping color from AK Interactive. We'll use this to outline some severe rust areas, starting with the edge of this hatch. Next, I'm going in with the Rust Streak Enamel Effect, also from AK, to enhance the rust effect. Thank you. 
So now that we've added some rust to our rain streaks, I'm just putting these two pieces back together. The last thing I want to do is add some fuel streaks, some oil spots, and maybe some dust. Of course, you can always go in and do your lenses later, but we're not doing that on this video because, well, I'm lazy. So, adding fuel stains are one of the last things you're going to want to do to your model, because these AK fuel stains have a glossy finish to resemble real fuel stains. So if you seal it, you lose that gloss effect, and you'll have to go back in and pick it out with some gloss effects later, which I've done before. My advice for you would be to go ahead and put a light coat of matte sealer over what you've done so far, if you feel like being a perfectionist, but for this video, I'm just going to skip that step. Anyway. Our fuel stains are going to be on the back deck of the tank, and I'm going to be fairly liberal with the paint application. I want it to look like someone got a little bit sloppy with the fuel canister. And now, I'm taking the AK engine oil and going around the wheels, because they tend to get a little bit greasy. I'm also going to add more oil around the back deck, just a little bit. Next, I want to put some texture on that machine gun with this scale color acrylic black metal. I'm taking a dry brush and just a small bit of paint here and brushing it off on my hand. It's one of your best palettes and just lightly brush that on there to give it a little bit of a metallic sheen. Now, moving away from our liquid weathering effects, I'm using the Ammo of MIG modeling pigment in Middle East Dust. This is great on this kind of model, since you won't be touching the sides of the road wheels, which means this won't rub off. So I'm just going to get some pigment on my brush and dust everything up. Again, you can use your hand as a palette, and if you feel like it's gotten too thick on the wheels, you can just blow into it like an old Nintendo game cartridge. Or use a fluffy brush to spread it out. But what's the fun in that? Anyway, I think we're going to call it. Good luck with your painting. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time here on Mediocre Painting with me.